Hi everybody, my name is Mike. I'm a senior marine biology student from Cape Cod, Mass. And I'm gonna be showing you guys around the Marine Natural Science building today and going over some of the general majors and what we do here in the building from all of our research to the very old classroom lectures. Within the Marine Natural Sciences building, there's majors from marine biology and biology to environmental science, aquarium and aquaculture, to chemistry, mathematics and applied mathematics, as well as physics housed within this building. Generally, all of the lecture halls are housed off and to the left down our lecture hall hallway. And then all of our science labs are housed on top of each other with our chemistry labs or the dry lab sciences on this floor. And then on the ground floor has all of our wet sciences, so all of our biology labs, as well as the wet lab, which we'll take a look at closer later. Within the Marine and Natural Science building, there's a whole host of different study abroad options that students can take part in, whether it be taking a semester and going down to Australia to do more coral reef ecology, or during the fall, we always offer a study abroad opportunity to the Bermuda Institute of Oceanographic Sciences, as well as some winter intercession trips that alternate between Belize and Panama, as well as some shorter trips during spring break and over the summer. We're now standing in our chemistry lab hallway. All of our general chemistry courses, as well as the core 101 science class are all housed in this hallway with varying upper level science classes as well. A lot of times students within the chemistry department will participate in student faculty led research, sometimes looking at cyanide and fish in the aquarium tray as a cross research discipline with the chemistry and the marine biology department. And someone I know in the department is working on the effect of melanin in skin. Now we're gonna start heading downstairs to go talk about our wet labs, as well as some of the different research opportunities housed within our biology department. In the lab spaces on this floor of the Marine Natural Science Building is all of our biology labs, so more or less our general freshman biology classes, as well as more faculty-led research spaces for our biology department. Um, some of the research that's happening down here in the biology department is looking at the marine viruses of Mount Hope Bay right outside. One of our professors is looking at corals, specifically some of the microbiomes within corals, and all their corals and samples are housed in our wet lab. Um, where we'll head off to next and we can get a deeper look into what some of the other opportunities we have here at Roger. This is our wet lab here at Roger Williams University. Within here there's different work study opportunities for students to take part in as well as some volunteer opportunities to get some hands-on experience in some other aspects of the fields of marine biology or in biology to kind of learn how to take care of some ornamental fish and shrimp species. Earlier, as mentioned, the coral research, their corals are housed in here in one of the middle trays. A lot of different classrooms will take part in housing their different experiments within our wet lab for growing different organisms and kind of seeing their growth and development. As well as through this program, we have connections with, our, with the New England Aquarium in Boston for different internship and research opportunities. Just down the hall from our wet lab is our aquaculture and shellfish hatchery. It was the first one in the state of Rhode Island. Same thing down here, there's still work study opportunities and volunteer opportunities for different students to take part in. A lot more classes are aligned with the aquaculture hatchery facility, as well as our aquatic diagnostics lab connected through the back. Um, within this aquatic diagnostics lab is overseen by our aquatic veterinarian here on staff, who's one of the top people in her field, and then she gets samples sent from all across the country for people looking, wanting to know about their shellfish crop and see if it's okay to bring out to harvest. She also looks at different nitrogen diseases in oysters to kind of see if they're gonna be healthy populations as well as kind of re help repopulate some of the natural populations. Any and all of the feeds for our shellfish larvae are all in these bubbling algae tanks across the hall in the observation gallery where students will learn different skills of algae culture as well as shellfish culture. Just outside of the Marine Natural Sciences Building, we have access to the Mount Hope Bay via our learning platform uh, right behind our Richard L. Brady Sailing Center. This learning platform is a great resource for students to utilize. A lot of times our shellfish are grown out into the adult stages out on the learning platform. It allows us to take real world life samples right off the dock as well as access our research vessel that all first year students in the marine biology program will be able to go out on to do some real world experience to kind of apply what they're learning in the classrooms, as well as some upper level bio classes. We'll go out and do some different fish trawls to kind of see what's out there in Mount Hope Bay. Hopefully you guys learned a little bit more about the Marine Natural Science Building here at Roger Williams University and some of our majors. Feel free to reach back out to the school with any questions you might have as you go through your different college decision processes.